everyone, this is Christy with Rustic Fire Creations and I'm here to show you our newest product that we have. I gave you a sneak peek earlier of what's included in the kit, um, but this is Barely Art Precision Glue. Um, it comes in either, we have a four ounce or a two ounce bottle. So when you open these up, you get the bottle itself. So this is one of the tips that comes with it. And then you get this little kit. Um, this is the glue kit. So I'm going to pop, this is the one I've been using. So it also has the tip that's here. Um, and then it has two other size tips. And then it has a needle here that's used to clean out your tip, which I recommend doing um, after each use. And uh, so I'm going to just show you kind of what I've been doing with it. Um, so today I've been working on this owl that, um, I've made a couple of them now that someone has ordered. So I've been actually using it to make these feathers. Feathers, if you are going to just needle felt a feather like these ones, it can take a long time to do all of these. I think in all I've made... For the, just this owl, I made 40 feathers. And if I were to actually needle felt completely each one of these, it would take a long time. And I've done this, I've done it before where I've needle felted the whole thing. And it's it can be fairly time consuming. So this glue has been really great in speeding up that process. And I'm just going to show you on this swing here how... I've gone about doing it. So I made, pre-made all these. These are not fully felted. In fact, they're barely felted. It's really just the wool, like four or five stabs to get, get it in this shape. And then what I do with the glue is I just dab a couple drops on, pat it in, and set it off to the side and let it dry. And I do that to all of these. And I don't let it fully dry, like pretty much I'm gonna make all of these, put all glue on all of these feathers. Then I'm going to come back and as soon as I'm done putting glue on, I can start putting them on the wing. And what's really nice about this glue is that when you put it on after it dries slightly, you can actually go in and felt it and the glue won't adhere or gum up your needle. Um, a lot of glues, like if you were to do that, your needle would pretty much be toast if you didn't clean it right away. So I've been using it for feathers I've been using it on these smaller needle felts that I've been doing. I like using glass eyes. So I've been using it to adhere the eyes. I've been using it to make claws and hoofs. It's just, it's been really handy. Um, beaks, it's really great for um, any small parts of your needle felt. Uh, it's been extremely nice to have. It speeds up the process for those smaller parts tremendously. I wouldn't recommend like covering your entire felt in it or anything. Um, it does tend to make colors that blend together more than you want. Or, I mean, maybe you do want that, so then go ahead. But if you aren't wanting all your colors to bleed together, I wouldn't recommend covering everything. And when this dries, it actually stays pretty flexible and it doesn't get hard. It just, like, so all of these have the glue on it. And as you can see, they're all flexible still and they're still soft. So I'm going to go ahead and finish gluing my stack. And then I'll come back and show you what happens when I put it on. All right, so the glue has been put on all the feathers. Um, one thing I didn't mention, 
I keep a wipe on hand. And so as I'm putting the glue on the feathers, every couple I wipe my fingers to clean them off. So now that I used the glue and I'm done with it, I just stick the needle in there. And of course, since I'm on camera, I can't get it in there. There we go. Clean it off or clean it out and then clean off the needle. Put the needle back in the container and then this is ready to be used again on another felt. So the feathers have the glue on so you can go ahead and felt it flat. You can even just squeeze it and it flattens it out even more. The nice thing about doing it this way is that the fuzz, like if I did this to the feather without the glue on, there would be all this extra wool that would be coming out on the opposite side. Because the glue is on there, it doesn't do that and it stays together. And then I can just go ahead and felt them on my owl. This is a really nice um, way to save time and it still looks good. Um, I feel like the results are really still the same as to what I would have done if I just needle felt it the entire thing. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the feathers and this owl will be almost done. He still needs some, some feet on him. But um, you can hop over to the website if you want to check it out closer. Uh, like I said, we have the four ounce and we have the two ounce. Each one comes with the tip kit. The two ounce is $9.99. The four ounce is $14.99. Um, really, I recommend them for uh, just the little stuff like this. Uh, it's become really handy and it's kind of been my go-to for almost every needle felt I've been doing lately. Recently, every needle felt, for the most part, that I've done, I've used um, this glue at some point. Uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. I'm sure I'll have other videos that'll come on where I use this, um, just because I use it a lot. Uh, next week, we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a miniature blue, um, not bluebird, robin bird. And I will be showing you how I'm adhering the glass eyes to the felt with this um, in that one as well. So um, hop on over to the website if you want to learn more at rusticfirecreations.com and thanks for watching.